What's up Team Hawkhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And the park is getting extremely busy nowadays because it's super busy, it's the holidays, everything like that. So I th thought it would be a great time to make a park etiquette video because not only is it getting busier, but the parks are so small because we've had such a bad snow year. So it's a lot of people in a smaller park. So let's go over some park etiquette so you guys can be safe while snowboarding in the park. So when you're standing on top of the jump and you want to drop but there's a lot of people one of the best ways to claim your drop is to literally yell drop and then everyone else is going to freeze and let you drop if they don't then they're not following park etiquette but you can call your drop if you're on a kind of a crowded drop in and you're nervous drop So on jumps, there is a semi-safe place to stand and that's the knuckle. That's where we're standing over here on the side. The closer to the death drop you can be, the safer on the knuckle you are. Standing here, we're in a safe position. We're not in the way. Now you do want to leave a lane. <laughs> are you okay, buddy? That was so perfectly done. I'm really happy I'm making this video. <laughs> You want to leave a lane next to the jump for when people are filming. That is a that is a reality. We do it. Other people do it. You have one person hitting the jump, one person riding next to the jump, filming their buddy. So make sure you give space between the the wedge and and the knuckle. The other thing about big jumps, any jumps, the landing zone for a jump is the whole after the knuckle. All of this is the landing zone. Whether it's this side, that side, someone can spin off this jump and literally land in any area over there. So never ever hang out underneath a jump. Period. Never ever. And when you drop off a knuckle, if you were standing here, look uphill. Make sure, so make sure no one's coming down. When you see a lane, no one's dropping. You drop, but stay on the right side or the left side. Never go into the wedge landing or there is still that chance that someone's gonna land on top of you and no one wants to get landed on that, it would suck. That was a great example with backflipping Benson doing his backflip. He still did a trick off the knuckle and the two guys were staying on the side, leaving a lane for him to still do a trick off the knuckle of the jump. So stand on the side. If you guys are wondering who's cutting me off and getting in my way in all these videos, it's our boy Kenny. Kenny's the man, he has a YouTube channel. It's linked in the description. Give Kenny a follow. Another great example for park etiquette is if someone is hurt in the landing of the feature, you come and either close it off, they are to the side, so it's a little safe. But the best way to close off a feature is you put an X up, Benton demonstrate the X, like that. That tells everyone above, this feature is closed, don't hit it. But if it's good to hit, you'll do an O and say they're out of the way, you can then hit the jump. All right, so you got X means closed, don't hit the feature. O means it's open, go ahead, that person's out of the way, now the landing is cleared. We do not want people to jump onto already hurt people getting hurt, that's a big disaster. So X means the feature's closed, don't hit it. Respect someone saying the feature's closed. You can always come back and get another hit. Oh, here's a great example. This feature should be closed right now because that person just slid into that hurt person. This place is a madness. Benton's closing it off now. Keystone needs some bark etiquette. <laughs> so they're going about, they're almost done getting this guy out of the way and Benton's gonna be good. So this is a great way to close the feature so green pant guy doesn't run into red jacket guy again. All right, guys, let's talk rails. So you have this wedge to hit the feature. The only thing you should do on this rail feature and any rail feature, any box feature is hit that rail. Side jumping is not okay for a couple of reasons. One, you wanna hit the feature. Two, you can go off the side and land in a, a pathway. Because in between each feature, it's okay to ride next to a feature. Maybe you fell on that one, you don't have speed, so you're riding through them. If you go side jumping, hard right you might hit that guy riding through so that's why side jumping is not not a good idea you could run into someone coming down thinking that you're going to hit this feature and then you just decide i'm not going to hit it side jump break somebody off 
That was a close call. So when you're standing in front of a feature, whether it's a rail, a jump, any feature, if you're sitting down, you're not gonna hit the feature. The person standing up is gonna hit the feature. If you're sitting down, no one in front of that feature, the jump line, anything, is, open, is gonna think that you're hitting the feature. So if you're sitting down and you feel like everyone's snaking you, you don't get your turn, it's because you're sitting down. Stand up, let everyone know I'm ready to drop, and then you get the drop. So I've only seen this happen in Highland Hills in Minnesota and a couple places on the Midwest, but mainly Highland. Don't sit on the features and just like text your mom or whatever you're doing. A feature is not a great place to sit down. Another huge thing with park etiquette is if park crews raking a feature, don't care if it's a big jump, whatever it is, if they're touching a feature and they got that close sign up, even if they don't have the close sign up, if they're fixing a feature, do not hit any part of it, leave it alone. Let them do their job. He's working right now. Let them fix the feature. That way, when you come back, it's so fresh and ready to rip. That is, I don't condone that. Some quick notes with park etiquette. Obviously, ride through the park too. Know the features before you're sending it. You don't want to get broke off by hitting a jump that's way too big for you, by hitting any rails that aren't, like you don't know what they are. Ride through, see what you got. Make sure you give the fellow riders space. Don't be riding right behind someone, especially if you don't know them and know their ability. They might just fall in front of you. And then always make sure that you like, if someone goes behind the landing of a jump and hasn't come yet out yet, like give it a second, wait, make sure you know where they went before you send the jump because they could be laying in the landing. We don't want to land on people. And with that guys, that's park etiquette. Just be safe if you come in the park. Know that there are people flying through the air, sliding rails, jumping around all around you. So make sure you're not in a bad position. If you're in a bad position, you and not only the person hitting the feature are in danger. Now I might've covered everything. I might've missed some stuff. If I missed anything, comment that down below. It's kind of chaotic today. So I might've missed something. So if I missed it, comment down below. And then also comment, what should I cover next? I love making like how to informational videos for you guys. So comment down below what other videos do you want to see what do you want to learn about skiing and snowboarding also guys if you want to get better at grabbing your snowboard i just released this new product it's a grab map so you order it it comes with a schematic that shows you where all the grabs are on your snowboard and all the names and it comes with corresponding stickers so you put those stickers on your snowboard you go out you learn all the grabs and then when you're done learning you peel the stickers off and now you know how to grab your snowboard now you know mute stale fish indie all of the grabs and you're not confused when you're on the mountain which grab you're trying to grab so that new product is linked in the description as well as evolution stickers hoodies t-shirts long sleeves all of it guys it's linked down below and if you do snag any of the merch tag me on instagram and i'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs but also guys follow my instagram i post a bunch of behind the scenes content you don't want to miss out the stories tell you which mountain i'm riding at what we're doing for the day what we're doing for trips and stuff so follow the instagram you don't want to miss out on bonus content on the instagram another person that helped make this video was backflipping benton he has a youtube channel in the description and he's the boy he's he helps with all of our videos so follow benton and with that team guys thank you so much for being safe in the park with us today and as always thanks for watching Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion. Yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No cliffhanger. Yes. We did so many unsafe things in the park today to film this video.